Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having an electric vehicle or plug-in electric vehicle. Uh, practically that will be a vehicle that uses electricity when it runs out, it turns into a gasoline engine or just pure electric vehicle guys. You want to uh, find out if the battery is in good condition to test the battery find out if the cells are uh, equally guys charged all that stuff deviation uh, leakage all that will be covered in this video today so make sure to stay tuned and now before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do all that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this absolutely free information to you for any of you guys that need to buy any parts tools for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools supplies from and you can save quite a bit of money. This is guys electric vehicle and uh, actually plug-in vehicle, hybrid vehicle, but the first 20 something miles we can drive it practically in electric mode. So it is just like electric vehicle. Uh, what you can uh, do now guys, okay, how you can test the electric battery, okay, on these uh, modern cars it's pretty simple you're going to open the door and you're going to find your obd port you have an obd connection somewhere under the dash the obd port will look okay like this one here you can see that's where the obd port is located the tool that we will be using it's the thing tool i will put the link in the description of the video below exactly which one it is it's super powerful too it's a tool that can pay itself off in just one time use uh, you can access every computer system in your car and these modern vehicles have multiple ones for instance that ford has over probably 40 computers or close to it and you can even do programming so i'm going to go ahead plug it in turn ignition switch on once we do that guys okay this is the app that we'll be using we'll click all systems diagnostics uh, it works on so many cars so if you have a plug-in Lexus to your other guys anything anything practically hand dates okay check it out it works guys it works on all these vehicles you can check their website for more information uh, Hondas okay <laughs> it keeps going the list keeps going so uh, all we have to do click VIN decoding, it will read the VIN number, that was exactly which vehicle we have, so we can continue. Okay, check it out now, we're working on it, almost there, 2013 Ford C-Max, uh, follow the instructions on the screen, it may ask you to turn the ignition on or off, okay. Here it will communicate with all the systems now, all the computers, it will establish safe uh, communication protocol, we'll be able to access them and you will see we have here the system scan, system selection, special functions, module programming, we need to select system selection, okay right here you can see system selection and those are the computers guys in this car check it out quite a few right that's why i told you you need a tool like that it's very inexpensive it can make your life so much easier we're going to go to battery energy control module it will be something like that sometimes it could be part of the bcm but usually you will have a battery module located under the diagnostics uh, here you can uh, read codes and see if there is any problems you can do that as well it will scan the system practically tell you if you have any codes uh, it will take a little bit of time it's going to communicate but that's not what we need guys exactly now okay now we turn the fan in the battery compartment I hear the cooling fan uh, so it's circulating now because it's accessing the module okay it turn it off so let's see if we'll get any movement now okay description battery voltage status continuous memory snapshot okay you can see those are the codes that we have in the uh, thing guys battery voltage status continuous memory did you see those are the codes that are present so you can clear them you can search for them but what i need to do i'll go to special functions here we'll go to uh, cell voltage and under cell voltage make sure that the parking brake is on and you block the front and rear wheel so the car doesn't roll and you can check each one of the cells guys in your battery this battery on that specific electric plug-in vehicle has 84 cells some of the other ones uh, uh, pure electric ones will have way more cells than that but you can 
test them by checking the voltage in each one of them without taking the battery apart check it out i recommend to test it when the battery is all the way full it should be between 2 and 4.3 volts if you test it at around 70 degrees 80 degrees that will be the optimum temperature and if they cannot reach 4.3 probably there is some wear and tear so it's, uh, the, there will be some energy loss in the battery but as you can see what's important to check guys even though we have about probably eight nine percent loss over the, the last eight nine years uh, it's important to check that each one of those cells are about the same voltage and they do not differ if one is different really like let's say three volts or two volts that's a problem so all of them should be between 402 in our case around there plus minus 0.01 so you can see the highest that we have is 4.25 lowest is 4.21 i believe i don't see lower than that so everything looks really stable here i recommend driving discharge it almost all the way and test it again to make sure or halfway discharged and make sure that the cells match again because uh, if you have a bad cell it may be discharging faster than the other ones another thing you can go to read that stream here it's going to uh, open all the parameters for the battery and you can check multiple things such as how old the battery is uh, how many diagnostic sessions it had even one time we diagnosed it now uh, you can check for errors you can check guys the state of charge you can check uh, the voltage okay you can check multiple multiple things temperature sensors inside the battery uh, deviation okay hybrid battery current deviations guys you can see deviation of 0.065 percent between the cells which is not bad at all as long as it's less than one percent uh, i wouldn't be concerned at all so that's how you guys test it hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time